The Council General of Greece was in Boston prior to the Boston Marathon and once again presented the Boston Athletic Association with olive branch wreaths to crown the four first place winners of the Boston Marathon. Students from Timble T Middle School and Hopkinton Middle School who participated in the Council of Greece Marathon Essay Contest received recognition. At the ceremony, first registered female runner to complete the Boston Marathon 50 years ago, Catherine Switzer received recognition and spoke about her experience and talked about running the marathon this year to celebrate the anniversary. You can see that. Now what has happened is that obviously a young girl simply wanted to run, suddenly had her life changed with this incident and had to finish the race. I invoked Filipinis many, many times to finish the Boston Marathon in 1967, but I did finish. We bounced the official out of the race instead. And I went on to finish, but by my 21 heart break hill, I realized that Jock Semple, the man who had attacked me, was simply a man of his time, and we could change this by creating opportunities. Talent is everywhere. It only needs an opportunity. And I began campaigning, and as you've heard, organized a global series of races around the world, 27 countries, 400 races, a million women, and convinced the International Olympic Committee, another great Greek or origin, another great institution brought to the world by Greece, the Olympic Games, and to include a women's marathon also. To me, that was as important as it getting women the right to vote, because it was the physical equivalent of our social and intellectual acceptance 40 years before that. So it was a marvelous moment, but what has left now, what we have now is now 58% of all the runners in the United States are women. Half of the field in Boston America, nearly half of the field, is women. More women run in Canada than men, more women run in France than men, more women run in Japan now than men. It is the social revolution that's been created. Women's lives are transformed and changed by running. And it happened right here on the streets of Boston, influenced by this. Yeah. 